Bitcoin, Ether, Tether, Dogecoin, Cardano. None of these terms existed before 2008. But over a decade later, cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology are radically disrupting the world of finance. In 2021, the total value of the crypto market reached over $2 trillion. And while they've had their ups and downs, they don't look like they're going away anytime soon. But what exactly are cryptos? Where do they come from and how do they work? Well, in October 2008, a user known only as Satoshi Nakamoto wanted to develop a payment system that was secure, decentralized, and crucially would cut out the need for trusted third parties like banks and financial institutions to verify transactions. To do this, he had to protect the system from the double spending problem. This is the risk that digital cash or a digital token can be spent twice. In a traditional system, financial institutions verify the transfer of funds and prevent this from happening. Nakamoto's solution was to incorporate a publicly distributed ledger into his protocol, which essentially works like this. Maya has one Bitcoin that she wants to transfer to Ali, who has no Bitcoins. He, in turn, wants to give one to Jay, who has three Bitcoins. Jay then sends four Bitcoins to Maya. All of the information about these transactions is inscribed in a ledger that's distributed to everyone in the network. Every 10 minutes, all transactions are compiled in a block, which is added onto a chain of all the previous transactions. This is known as the blockchain. If Jay then wants to try to send another 3 bitcoins, the system prevents him from doing this because the publicly distributed ledger confirms that he doesn't have the funds to make this transaction. But before a block gets added to the chain, it has to go through a process called mining. Here, computers within the Bitcoin network join a race to solve a complex computational problem which is designed to become more complex the more computers there are trying to solve it. Whichever computer solves the problem first is allowed to verify the block and add it to the blockchain for the reward of Bitcoin. At present, the protocol and the source code stipulate that only 21 million Bitcoins can be mined in total. But if Bitcoin isn't your thing, there are plenty more cryptocurrencies to choose from. The original crypto has given rise to thousands of different coins, and more are being added all the time. Central banks around the world are also exploring the potential for their own digital currencies.